It's playoff time. Steelers versus Dolphins. Wild card weekend. Sunday at 1 o'clock. Well, we're real. But anyway, this should be a very interesting game because, if as you guys know, uh, earlier in the regular season, we did face the uh, the Dolphins, and they beat us 30-15. to Yeah, it was a devastating loss. But this time... Both teams, they're new. They're a lot different. They're a lot healthier. They're a lot more aggressive. So expect a much better game in this one. And this time, this game is in Pittsburgh. Home field advantage. And Steelers Nation, I want you to wave that towel very hard and proud. Because we need every bit of it to win this game. But on to the game. Let's start with the offense. Ben, Brown, and of course, Steelers MVP of the year, Le'Veon Bell. All healthy, all ready, all set for this game. All three finally together in a playoff game. And the main person is number three, Le'Veon Bell. He has not played any playoff games in his, in, in, in his career. He has not been in any playoffs his entire career because he's been injured the past two seasons since we've been in the playoffs. But this time, he gets his first bit of playoff action. Especially against the uh, not Steelers defense, Dolphins defense, especially Russian defense, that isn't really that Which good. Which is one of the worst in the league, and if I'm correct, they allow, what, around 140 rushing yards a game? So, Bell, with the type of line that we have and the kind of running back that he is, you got to expect him to play his freaking heart out, especially in the postseason. Exactly, and expect him to have a field day. And, of course, last time we faced the Dolphins, he didn't have too much of a good game. Because we, did, we hardly carried the ball. We, we didn't even run it. We hardly carried the ball in that game. He hardly carried the ball in that game. We mainly passed it. That was when Ben suffered his injury. They are one of the worst rush defenses in the game, in the league right now. And he only ran it like 10, 12 times, maybe less. That was a terrible play calling right there. You have possibly the best running back in the game going against one of the worst rush defenses in the game. Why not run it? Consecutive. You know, just, just keep running it and running it and running it. Keep feeding him the rock. But no, you just decide to pass it. I don't. But that I, game was a lesson. That game was a lesson yes. to Mike Tomlin and the Steelers. Roster. Offensive coordinators, the roster, the entire staff. The entire defense. So I hope they took real good I hope they took a real good look at the film when they looked at it this week and they saw the mistakes. They learned their mistakes, especially when not giving the bell uh to ball to bell a lot. So hopefully they learn from that their mistakes from that game and their terrible decisions in that game. And hopefully they come in a lot stronger. Yeah. Because this is a big game. But enough of Bell. Hopefully, I think he'll have a field day. Hopefully, he does. Yeah. I mean, this is his first bit of playoff action. You know he's going to give his heart out. He's going to he's gonna play real good. Now. He's going to want to. Now on to the defense. The way they played against Cleveland cannot happen at all. Especially, no. especially to a backup quarterback in Matt Moore who has no playoff experience whatsoever. Heck, most of the... Most of the Players on the Dolphins team has no playoff experience. Exactly. Including their first year coach, Adam Gaze. You know, he led he's definitely helped his team a lot this season from last season. Oh, oh yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, definitely. But uh mo- like he said, most of the players on the Dolphins team has no playoff experience. But most they, they team, are they are a tough team. I'll give them that. Yes, they are they are a good team. They showed it this season. I think they are a, a rise a risen team. I think they're going to be a good team in the next few years. Oh, yes. Especially with Ryan Tannehill upgrading just a, just a tad bit. Yeah, and uh, he has not been, speaking of Ryan Tannehill, he has not been ruled out just yet. He didn't practice at all this week, but he hasn't been ruled out yet. But I'm expecting Matt Moore to play. Yeah. I, and usually the Steelers are not very good against backup quarterbacks. Yeah, which, that has been which, a history. which terrifies me, especially how they did last week against the, one of the worst freaking offenses and teams in the league. Probably. 
basically the worst team in the NFL. Yeah, basically. So uh, that really terrified. So me. the defense got to play better. We got to stop. Mainly we got to stop Jay Ajayi. Yeah, because Jay Ajayi, last time he faced the Steelers, he had the first of three 200-yard games he had this season. Three 200-yard games. The first came against us, including the game-winning rushing touchdown. Which was just completely terrible. Yeah, terrible. We, we literally, he literally ran all over our team that game. Yeah. Like I said, ever since that game, they've learned their mistakes. They've learned that they can't. They can't do that. They no. can't make those mistakes. And this team has gotten stronger since that game, offensively and defensively. Especially during our seven-game winning streak. We've hardly allowed any rushing yards, any passing yards, surprisingly. Like, this team's completely upgraded. It's, it's got to continue that. The only thing that really terrifies me in this game is that rush defense, because last week, you know, they didn't do too good. And, of course, last time we faced the JHI, yeah, not too good. I'm sorry, not not good at all. But, uh, you know, pass defense secondary, you know, I'm not – I'm a little terrified because of Jarvis Landry and – Well, maybe know, a bit of Devontae Parker. Yeah, and Kenny Stills. But uh, hopefully, you know, we – we covered him pretty We can be good. able to contain him. Yeah, Especially exactly. Jarvis Landry. He's got one of the best fans in the NFL. Yeah, he's definitely a hell of a receiver, you know. And he's, he's, he's very elusive. He's got great hands. He's got great speed. Yeah, and we and uh, 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 another thing on defense, pass rush. Got to take care of that Miami's uh, offensive line. We have to take advantage of that offensive oh, line. Oh, yeah, de- definitely. And we have to get to Matt Moore. Considering on how many sacks we've gotten since the loss against Dallas. Yeah, and I and I, I want to bring up something very interesting and very intriguing. I mean, it's int- intriguing to me. Bud Dupree, he had four sacks in his rookie year last season. Four sacks. He played, I think, every game. Yeah. This season, he missed more than half of the season. And he only has four and a half. If he did, if he did not get injured, he'd probably have at least ten. He'd probably lead the team in sacks right now because our our leading sack or that our sack leader on the team is James Harrison with five. Five, not too. I mean, for his age, that's really good. But the whole team with only five top, I'm not so proud. No. So pass rush is still pretty good. I mean, it fell for a little bit from last year. But of course, we had the loss of Cam Hayward and Stephon Tewitt in a few yeah. games. But anyway, uh, anyway, pass rush, get 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 to get more, especially Bud Dupree. You know, I'm very intrigued by that stat I just said. I'm very intrigued, and I'm very excited for him. Not only in the playoffs, but next year as well. Oh yeah, definitely. But I'm not concerned on next year yet. I'm looking at the playoffs, like right now. Exactly. But we got to take care of Miami. So at home, offense key to win the game. Give the ball to Bell. Give the ball to Bell. Mainly, mainly give the ball to Bell. Yeah, and if you have to throw, throw it with Ben a few times, if you, have, I mean, you know, of course, last time we faced the Dolphins, you know, Ben got injured, but uh, other than that, you know, plus, plus the offensive line, you know, considering that we only had uh one uh lineman out last week, which know, was Marquise Pouncey, which I'm glad to see him in the postseason again. Yeah, I mean, the way the line played with both Landry Jones, I mean, it was especially with. Uh, the Dolphins' defensive line. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And Dominican Sue, Cameron Wegg, I think they have Mario Williams, I believe, if he's playing. I can't remember. I'm not sure. I can't remember if he's even on the game. But anyway, uh, yeah, key to win the game on offense, give the ball to Bell, and offensive line, play great as you usually do. Protect Ben. You know, make holes for Bell. You know, just do really good. And defense, get, get some out more. Yes. Pass rush. Pass rush and secondary. Got to do, no, no, I'm sorry. Not, well, secondary, I'm a little concerned about, but not too concerned. Uh, keys to win on defense is get to Matt Moore and stop Jay Ajayi. Yes. Yeah. So, should be a pretty interesting game. I'm really excited for this game. You know, I, I just can't wait for this game. It's freaking oh, playoff yeah. time, dude. Playoff this time. This is the time where every team plays with their heart out. Yeah. They try their best to get that one goal that everybody wants, and that's the Super Bowl. That is the Lombardi Trophy. So, and yeah. The Steelers are looking to get... Seven. Number seven. Hopefully number seven can lead us to number seven. Hopefully. But, you know, uh, other than that, that's the video. Should be a good game. Anyway, very excited for this game. Cannot wait for this game. Let's just let's just get this win. Move on to the, to the divisional round. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace.